Why so many hard drives? Asks Foxy Link. Well, I'm going to explain this in uh, the most basic analogies I can uh, make for you guys. So, there's a, um, I'm going to explain this, there's a red card in here, and uh, it's a dedicated red card, and I explain what red is, but um, right here, that's the red card, and these wires go in the back here, and of course, they come out between the hard drives. Those are serial ATA, um, the blue cables, and the uh, power cables are uh, obviously the cables on the left. So anyway, RAID, uh, there's different types of RAID, and uh, you'll always hear RAID associated with different numbers. And I'm running two RAID 1s right here. Now I know a lot of people might say, hey, you should do this, you should do that, but this is this is what works for me. These two hard drives right here are my C drive. Well, wait a second. You can partition one drive to be multiple drives, but how come you've got two drives so that there's only one? Well, um, these are um, in a RAID 1. And what a RAID 1 does is effectively if, either, if this drive dies or this drive dies, I still have a copy of everything. It's called mirroring. So, um, so these are both 120 gig hard drives, but I don't have 240 gigs of, from these two drives. I only have half the capacity. However, if either drive dies, and this is where Windows XP, my programs, my games are located, then I, I'm still up and running. And all I have to do if either drive dies, physically dies on me, is buy another hard drive, rebuild the RAID, and, and boom, I've got my redundancy back in redundancy. That's the basic concept of redundancy. Here, I'm going to go over uh, RAID 0, RAID 1, and RAID 5, kind of. Um, there are other RAIDs, like 0 plus 1, and anyone who says RAID 10, smack, like, hard, okay? Because there's no such thing as RAID 10, it's rate to zero plus one. Damn people can do that. Anyway, these two drives right here, that's my D drive. Those are two Seagate 320 gig hard drives. These two 120s are have eight meg cache and the 200 RPM. These two have, have are 320 gigs, of course. 72 meg, 16 meg cache, and these are enterprise drives. This one last drive on the bottom here, by the way, is my Windows Vista hard drive. That's just for messing around, but of course, I'm not concerned with RAID as, with, uh, with this drive as I am with these drives. Um, these drives hold all my torrents and my work files and music and stuff. And, you know, of course I wouldn't want them on the same drive as my Windows operating system. I don't care what version of Windows. When Windows dies, I format. Plain and simple. So. Anyway, the same thing with my work files. Now these are two separate RAID 1s. Now I've heard people say, well why don't we set up a RAID 5? Um, I really would prefer to keep my windows and, and my personal files as physically separate as possible within reason and not having like external cases and crap like that. So anyway, a RAID 0 is the same th exact thing if I can get the camera here, at least I'm not moving it around like in the previous video. Well, you got a love camera here. So, let's just say I have these two drives in RAID 0, which I could do. RAID 0 combines these drives. It doesn't, cop it doesn't take one drive and copy it to the other, it combines them. So these 320 gig hard drives have become a 640, I'm sorry, 320 gig hard drives become a 640 gig hard drive. The problem with that, the, the reason why I'm not, I wouldn't use that, is, well, there's a couple reasons. One, why not just buy a, you know, a 600 meg, uh, gigabyte hard drive to begin with? Um, of course, you know, for example, some people would say, well, they don't have two terabyte hard drives out, so why don't you just take two terabyte hard drives and make a two gig a two terabyte drive. Well, I don't need that much space. Um, but, for example, you would also get faster performance. So, a lot of high-end systems, you'll see two Raptor hard drives in a RAID 0. Raptor hard drive uh, has a 10,000 RPM 
um, instead of the standard 7200. What is RPM? Rotations per minute. Hard drive, think of it like a stack of pancakes, and the, uh, uh, those, um, they're like, um, just think of them like pancakes. Keep it dead simple for those who aren't that technical. And there's a, so it's like a circle, and you have a little head that sticks out, and when the, when the, when it goes around like this, that head just reads whatever goes underneath it, okay? The faster it rotates, the faster you're going to get your information. And of course, Raptors are a bit more expensive. I don't really need that, uh, and I don't need to spend a, twice the amount of money, well, somewhere around twice the amount of money for, you know, half the, half the space. So these work fast enough for me. Because remember, I'm not a hardcore gamer, I'm a professional web designer. So redundancy is more important than performance. Not that I don't overclock my system, but that's different. So anyway, so RAID 0, if either drive dies, if this drive dies or this drive dies, and these two are in RAID 0, I lose all the data. Dead. Gone. That's it. So I have a 300 gig uh, Maxter hard drive that uh, went dead gym on me a, about, uh, in the spring. Thankfully, I usually back up a lot of, a lot of my mo most critical stuff to uh, dual layer DVDs. So anyway, um, if you want to learn more about RAID, go to Wikipedia and type in RAID, R-A-I-D, and um, if you get the... Uh, you know, if you're, you get the page where uh, there's different uh, types of RAID or whatever, you want to look for um, redundant array of independent d uh, drives. That's what that stands for. Anyway, so in a nutshell, if any of my hard drives die, I, I'm not screwed. That's the basic concept of it. So, um, thanks for watching, and I'll get another video up soon.